I won't lie to you. I love the title of this episode. It's called The Iron Wall Can Be Rebuilt Again and Again. Because even though we broke it one time, you can literally rebuild it and it'll be stronger than ever. You really never know. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 19. Last episode, we uh, it was very close. We barely beat Wakutani or Waku T- Wakunan, um, and Takeru had... Everyone went through it. Uh, Yamaguchi went through it. Inoshida went through it. Takeru went through it. There was a lot of character development built in that one game, and I loved every bit of it. But with the way we ended with Alba Josai and uh, Date Kogio being the deciders of who our next opponent's going to be, I wonder, is that what this episode, like, are we going to get a full episode match without Karasuno? Like, I'm so curious. Or are we just going to, like, go to the end of it and then see our opponent? I'm curious as well. But remember, typical plugs, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. It's always an option for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys happen to be new here, make sure to subscribe and then click that notifications bell so you guys always know when I'm posted. We always welcome all members of the Dapper Squad. Always appreciate it. And then don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this. Hi, Q. Season 2, Episode 19. The Iron Wall can be rebuilt again and again. I don't recognize these players. So Alba Josai won the first set and they're winning the second set right now. That guy on the left looks super familiar. So are these the third years who left Date Kogio? Because Alba, because uh, Oikawa was the third year on Alba Josai. Yeah, that has to be it. So these are the third years from Date Kogio. Okay. Oh, it's got to be something nasty. Oh, come on. It's got to be something nasty. Come on. It's like a pop-up. Why is it so high? So he's like a new new setter. First year. He is big. The giant Konagegawa. Konagegawa. Oh, too high again. God damn it, Kogane. <laughs> Coach just caught it. <laughs> nice catch, Ko. He's a, fr- you know, we've seen first years that are brand new. Yakuzawa, you know? Yeah. They're setting him up. I like it. Nice. So it was a good move on their part, but completely obvious, so. And why Zumi? Ooh, nasty as always. Their wing spiker did the toss, and Oikawa was going for the hit. I love the visualizations, like always. Ooh, but he can snipe it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> he connected the third door. He really is a giant setter. That is dope. Damn. A little dangerous there, but... Kogo Negawa is his name. We got, uh, Futakuchi. Hey. Always shout out to Aone. I like it. I like it. When it comes to observations and analysis, Oikawa's top tier. I like the passion though. I like guys who are just overly passionate, you know. I I've said it once before. I'll say it again. I love the animation of his serve. His like long, skinny, slender body just <laughs> it looks so agile. Which is what I keep saying. I keep setting this shit up for an amazing, continuous seasons. Ooh, great save, Futakuchi. Chance ball. <laughs> Damn, 
Sakunami. Ah, uh, make it easier any way you can for him. I like that. Okay, that's just what he is by being that fucking giant of a man. Look at it. Just get it from one high place to another. Wow, like a little, little baby little set. Just to make sure it's nice and perfect. Oh, that was dope. That was really nice. Yeah, he doesn't sh shoot it there. He literally puts it there. <laughs> yeah, he literally was like, I'll set it right here for you. <laughs> it's unique. One more point in uh, Alba Joe size, our po opponents. Anamaki, they're giving me so many names. Oh, nice. Nice kill, nice kill. If they're ever gonna make a comeback, yep. Oh, the three best blockers in the prefecture, I like that, okay. Oh, wait till they see Tsukushima in his prime, you know? Oh, if you're gonna rely on anyone, it's gonna be Iwaizumi. Nice. Look at him already gonna be taking advice. If he is able to adapt this quickly, he is gonna be. He is gonna be scary. <laughs> I like it. Okay, my boy, Iwaizumi. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm like, yes, sir. Got it. Got it. Oh, nice receive. Oh, my God. The rebound is so nasty. Oh, my boy is going for it. <laughs> I love that visualization. It can be rebuilt as many times as you need. Oh, he found a weak spot in the wall. And of course, it was the first year. Man, Iwaizumi is so nasty. I hate that uh, that uh, Date Kogyo lost, but that's my boy, Iwaizumi. Yeah, as someone who's gone against the Iron Wall, Asahi and Tanaka can both appreciate that. <laughs> It just clicked in my head how hard of a match this is going to be going against Alba Josai. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Some good advice from some ex-players. He'd love to see it. I mean, oh, make us better. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> Bro, they've done this with Yakuzawa. They've done this with so many people that they just get me excited for a future, you know? Jesus Christ. How do they continuously do this all the time? If anyone knows that, it's Aone. I love it. As they cross paths. Oh my god. Hinata Shoyo. It's my boy Aone right there. I completely forgot that they're the ones who handed us our most heartbreaking L of all time.
They're the ones that are going to give us the most satisfying W we've ever gotten in our lives, too. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't even get me started on this, man. Don't get me started. Yeah, Yachi doesn't know the history we have. <laughs> this is a very serious match. <laughs> is Hinata just on guard, ready for him to hit him? Is that why he was just... <sighs> Guys, we're starting this. Oh my god. I can't believe this. We're starting this match. Alba Jose. I knew it was going to be Alba Jose, but I just cannot believe we're here. The white light of the auditorium. The thunderous applause from the crowd. Oh, don't cut it right there. <laughs> Damn it. Is this an after credit scene or a preview? This looks like an after credit scene. And high Q. Well, I'll be damned. Yes, yes. Well, I'll tell you, I got a lot of names this episode. I definitely need to have a page dedicated to teams because I'm getting a lot of names and it's fucking with me. But I loved how Date Kogio's third years came back just to watch the games or even still practicing with them. I love that passion. I love that friendship camaraderie that they still have. Um, I do really like the passion from Koganagawa. Kogane, um, he seems super into it. Uh, I love when players are like him, like Bokuto, like Hinata, who's like, man, this seems so cool. I just want to do that because it's cool, you know? And I love him using his height to his advantage. He is because he's not he's still a babysitter so instead of trying to throw it to where you need to be why not just jump up and literally like barely tap it like it's just oh it's just so good it's so well done and that's why and i love how when someone else is newer even the little things you can do to try to support them like his homie um um saku nami who i'm assuming is their libero was able to receive it higher than normal just to get in a position where he could jump up as high as he can and put it exactly where he needs to put it so it's like the little things that you could do to support your new players is is kind of crazy you know it's like i love that about this show they're able to constantly using new strategies and new things to just help each other grow as a team because like like kageyama said you know like you're obviously stronger when your six is strong, but it's like, oh, it's like there's so much, there's so much in depthness that goes to it. It's crazy. But oh my lord! So I'm trying to think of all my Alba Joe side players we have listed. We got Iwaizumi, Oikawa, uh, Watari, Kunimi, right? Because Kunimi, no, is that someone? Jesus, like there's so like that's what I'm saying. I gotta get all these down. There's so many people. Then we got Kentaro, who is the new Mad Dog. Yaha uh, Yahaba, who was their second year. Like there's so many, you know. We got uh, fucking Hana Hanamaki, who was the one who was serving at the end there. I'm just I don't know, but I'm about to get into this next episode because I'm just way too excited. I think I'm gonna make that page right now about the team though, so I don't fuck this up anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget about early access, full length. Let me know what you thought down below. If you guys did enjoy this, please leave a like. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, at Dapper Darius. I will see you guys in this next episode. Peace out, you guys.